of parents searching for justice after their son, who recently died of an overdose, made a shocking accusation against a teacher, a man who's now responding to the claim for the first time. John Blake says the allegations are false. But in a journal, Parker Foley accused Blake of rape, and his parents are now trying to hold Blake responsible. WBZ's Bill Shields has the story. They are parents living a nightmare that none of us wants to. Parker was a, a shining star in our life. He had a wonderful personality. This is their son, Parker Foley. He kept a horrible, dark secret from his parents for years. The focus is really about Parker. What happened to Parker when he was in middle school? How did it happen? In 2006, Parker Foley was a middle school student in Duxbury. He was allegedly raped by his gym teacher, John Blake, who's also the high school hockey coach. I started with inappropriate touching and, you know, ended with, with violent rape. Parker fought his demons for years, but last fall accidentally overdosed. But he laid bare his soul in a journal his parents found. John Blake, in raping Parker, absolutely crushed his heart. But today, John Blake said none of it is true. I completely deny all the allegations that have been brought forth. Over the last 25 years, I have proudly taught and coached thousands upon thousands of students and athletes. Blake's attorney had him take a polygraph test, which allegedly detected no lies. To sit down for three hours and be administered this type of a test could say that you're lying, could say it's inconclusive. This says it all. Because of the civil lawsuit, the Duxbury School Department has suspended John Blake. But they will not say whether or not there's a criminal investigation. Neither will the Duxbury police. And the district attorney, so far, they're not involved. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.